Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing turn-based strategy game Airship Asunder. In it you fly around a broken world trying to defeat the Pirate King. It has both single player and multiplayer action. I'm going to do a single player game in a new world. I'm going to give it a name. And I'll give it a super secret password that I won't remember later. So <laughs> that's okay. Okay, so here you are in uh, this kind of main village here. What you're going to do is you're going to make your own village, kind of grow it. The whole point is to um, expand your army so you can take on the Pirate King at the end of the game. So step one is to recruit uh, people, which I did. So now what I want to do is kind of go around and search for um, an area with a lot of plains and then a uh, mountain and a forest nearby, which is actually kind of over here. I think I'm going to go right here. And then there's Swamp nearby too, which is pretty handy. So we'll make our village right there. So you go over here and you click and you camp. And yes, and then it goes. The interface is kind of unwieldy. You know, I don't have a problem with having retro type graphics. Um, but some of the fonts, especially the one up here, is really hard to read. Um, the ones over here less so. Um, you know, you have to kind of click, and it's it's hard to, uh, you know, because they made the, the interface so large, it's hard to see what values of things are. You know, you have to click this view button, and then it shows it in this, you know, little scroll view at the bottom, which is hard to tell what the heck is going on. Uh, so basically what you're doing is you're collecting resources in these villages that you can then put on your ship, take it to other villages, or use it in order to uh, build stuff, which is what I'm going to do early on. Um, your farm makes food for your village, which each villager eats one food per like little t minute in the game. And then you have uh, wood and rock that you need there, and we'll need to get a school here in a second, but I need to level up first. You'll notice all these other ships that go around. Enemies are red. Uh, neutral parties are yellow. I have to gather more people. Uh, so I have to do my. Let's see, was it? No, I'm not old mech. Dang it. No, I don't want to go there. Journal. No, I don't want to go there. Uh, I need 40 crew. So. Let's see, exchange here. You can see it's kind of turn-based, but it's real-time. You know, so they have 20. They need 20 for that. Uh, so I need a lot more people in order to do that. A lot of the game, you're just kind of waiting for resources to accumulate or uh, villagers to appear, stuff like that. A lot of the game is kind of going around and searching for uh, all these different dungeons and temples and stuff that you have to find in order to progress up the tree and try to get the Pirate King out. Um, but some of the games you're just sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, like I'm doing now. I can't build the school. Uh, I actually don't even think, you know, I don't have enough wood or rock anyway. Now the villages themselves uh, don't need any of the wood or the rock or any of these resources. They just need food. Um, so you can just take it all, basically, um, on your ship. Now, your ship has a, a limit to how much stuff it can carry. Uh, oh. But uh, basically, everything is built from your ship, even though your ship doesn't have to be actually at the location where, where it's at. You also see that your village will automatically... Um, start doing farms if you leave them alone for long enough because I only queued up this one farm. And I'll build some other farms to try to support a bigger population. Let me say one farm per 20 people. Um, another problem is you have some very precious real estate. Uh, you see the village here is only uh, surrounded by you know eight tiles and there's so many things that you need to build. You need to build these farms Sawmills, quarries, schools, forges, smiths, stills, all this stuff, then you simply don't have enough squares to put it all up, especially if you, you know, need one uh, square for a farm for every 20 people in your 
civilization. It's extremely Ill until you get ranches, of course, um, which uh, support more. You know, it does 50. Uh, actually, I might build that right now. Um, so there's a lot of demands on, um, you know, this really limited amount of space that you have to build with. And then you have to, uh, you know, expand and get another uh, thing going, which is actually probably what I'll probably do over here if I have enough people, which I do. I have 12. It's not going to help my... You know, there's a little obelisk thing. Totem. Alright, so I could camp. Yes. So I don't have two villages going. The population will grow slowly over time, and they're way out of food. Or I'm low on food. You can't see there. Oh, here comes a bad guy. Uh, there are bad guys on the map. So what you do is you kind of you can double click them to fight them. So I'll see if I can get them here. And there's different uh, stances you can do uh, to try to counteract them. It's very rock, paper, scissors. Combat. There you go, I took him down. Did I? I think he got it. Yeah, he got the spoils. Jerk. Do need to get a forest over here. You only have one guy left on my map, or left on my ship. Uh, let's build, build a farm. All right, let's see if we can go back over here. Really, actually, I only need 20 people in these uh, villages, initially anyway, and then you'll want to build them up later. But you spend a lot of your game kind of shuttling resources around because they don't automatically go between villages, which is kind of tedious and annoying. Uh, and it's difficult to figure out. Like, I can't figure out at a glance how many resources this village has it's unless I go over and literally fly all the way over here and then exchange with them. Like, you can click view, but you can't see what they have. So let's exchange and actually see what they have. They actually have a lot of food. I think I will take some. And they do have 31 villagers. So that's good. Yeah, they have too much. Well, I'll just take all that crap anyway, so it's not going to matter. So I'm up to 12. Stealing some of their guys away. Alright, so I got that. Still waiting for my school. Uh, you build the school. It helps to train different types of soldiers, which are useful on your ship when you get on there. It really increases your um, combat capabilities. You can also build a forge, which will make iron. Uh, the iron is used for some buildings and also used in the smith to make weapons and ammunition. Uh, you can, on a swamp, this darker area right here, you can build a still which will give you fuel uh, then you can also uh, get gold when you defeat pirates and then spend that gold on bigger ships uh, and then that's basically it and then what you kinda do is just kinda grow your little army over time uh, and then eventually take on the pirate king so it's kinda like uh, civilization sort of in that sense where you're kinda collecting resources in order to build up your military uh, very odd uh, take on it, certainly. Neutral ship. Gotta keep an eye out for these uh, pirates. So let me see here what this village has. Should probably build a mine here too. We have 17 civilians. We'll shoot. I'll give you 20 so you can level up, and you need more food. Although with 2020, it'll be they'll be fine. Okay, let's build a sawmill. 
Yeah, we'll build this thing too. And you guys will level up. Problem is when you when you build this stuff, you know, you have to level up each individual village. So this village has to have enough people to support these larger structures. I'm going to go back over here. See if I can level up yet. Yeah, probably not. But we'll see. I just want to build a school. Oh, good. All right. School it is. Build. School. Go. Oh, <laughs> and, of course, I probably don't have enough resources for it. Oh, no, it actually went up. Good. All right, so school's done. So that'll start giving me um, a bunch of interesting little guys I can put on my ship. And I need way more food now. Uh, I don't want all your food. But I do want some of your food. I'm going to do that. I do have some gold. Uh, I think that's from the beginning of the game. I'm gonna take all this. I'm gonna take all your stuff. Yeah, let's go over this one. Yeah, this this uh, town went up to a village because it now has 20 people because I farmed them over there. Uh, so I do need to build some more stuff, which actually I could do over here. Now that this is leveled up, uh, I could do a forge. Yeah, I need more resources to start it. Oh yeah, I only have 417. Alright, well let's exchange here. Let's take all these guys' resources too. Now you can override buildings. Like I can take these, these farms and just like destroy them. If I want. Turn that into a small. There's no reason to not make it a sawmill. Like this sawmill too. All right, so I'll that you know I'm kind of low on wood, so that'll bring up my wood a little bit. And this school should um, give me some better people, so I can fight uh, the pirates whenever they crop up. So I need to get. Uh, a forge, a smith, and a still. But in order to get the still, I'm gonna have to find. I'm gonna have to expand somewhere else, which is fine. I just need more people. Need some citizens. Yep, got some sailors. I'll take that. God, they have a lot of food. Well, it's because they have like tons of mines and stuff. So basically, I'm just shuttling back and forth. Uh, and just stealing stuff from my villages. And once I'm up to 20 civilians, I can go make another village, which is probably what I'll do. I'll try to find one with a swamp so I can start getting fuel. Even though my fuel is fine for right now, it won't be uh, eventually. So, you know, even though I'm just going back and forth here. So. Alright, take all that, take all that. Oh, jeez, 31. Well, I only need... 20. Actually, I'll probably put a school over here, too. Actually, you guys are fine on food. you got three farms. What are you worried about? Alright, let's see if I can actually build stuff now. Can I build my forge? 10 wood, 20 rock? Probably. Come on. Yeah. Forge is up. Cool. So that'll start getting me some iron. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, those guys. I thought that was gold that they dropped. That's just so exploding. Oh, actually, that might be. You guys are on fire.
Can I take can I take your balloon? I can. I take all that junk. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for getting blowed up right next to my village. Alright. I do need a smith. I'm gonna oh crap, there's a guy invading me. Double click. They disappear. Gosh darn it. These guys just like sneak in all the dang time. I think he downgraded my amp. Yeah, he did downgrade my town. Alright, let's exchange back. Yeah, he killed basically everybody. Well, I'm gonna steal the rest of these guys. Well, maybe not. Well, I'll steal the sailor, but the snipers I can leave there. I'm gonna have them guard for now. Well, yeah, maybe not. Just put them back on that. But you can do different stances and stuff for them if you want. Yes. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now that they've settled, it doesn't matter at all. You have one of these little, like, boxes that... Oh, uh, this... Because it's not mine anymore. Because the pirates took it. <sighs> yeah. And now there's guys just, like, standing there. <sighs> this game... It does a very, very bad job explaining what the heck is going on. Like, what is what does that mean? What does that even mean? I don't know. I still need to build a smith. Can I build it? I should probably can Nope. I need more resources. Should have said that before I built it, buddy. And take all your junk. Alright. What do I need for a smith? Ten wood. See, I, it doesn't scroll down far enough, so I have no idea if I have enough, so I'm just going to build it and see. Nope. Nope. But they, that'll make uh, weapons for your soldiers, and then you can, you'll basically, uh, I don't think this one has a school. Uh, you know, you'll basically pull villagers from your different villages, load them on your ship, and then go wreak havoc around, um, taking out all the pirates and stuff. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, that that's the game. You kind of go around... You found these villages, you start collecting resources, use those resources to build up your army, and then you go fight. Um, the interface is not good because it gives you very limited information at a glance. Part of it's because the game is so low resolution that it really can't put a lot on the screen at one time. But, you know, trying to find out... Um, Stuff about a village is just incredibly difficult. You don't know how many... Yeah, shut up. Um, you don't know how many, uh, you know, resources a village has until you get over there and take a look at it. Um, you know, the fonts are just hard to read, especially up here at the top of the screen. And it's not very an intuitive game. Um, you know, the tutorial covers the very basics of it basically says build this thing next, build this thing next, um, and then go find the pirate guy. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's really an unwieldy, unintuitive game. Uh, thanks to the very opaque game mechanics, the game doesn't really tell you, and there's a lot of random stuff like those pirates randomly taking my city, like what am I supposed to do to deal with that? Um, and then just the interface not giving enough information all the time and making it difficult to figure out exactly what's going on uh, with your villages. So that makes this a very uh, difficult game to recommend. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.